Hurricane Irma, all right? It left enormous damage in the Caribbean and left 60% of the state of Florida without power. Now, luckily, most people evacuated, except for Marco Rubio, who stayed and was like, water, finally water! <laughs> oh, I'm so thirsty. <laughs> Before Irma touched land in Florida, the government ordered everyone in its path to evacuate. But there's a reason Florida has a reputation for being, well, Florida. This man making the mistake of trying to get an up-close look at Irma's strength not right off his feet. This is stupid. These two guys going out in the rain and in these storms. First of all, I don't know how they're staying up on two wheels. Do not do that. Despite Governor Rick Scott's warnings for people to get out and get out now while they can, I mean, just this family just going back into the ocean, it is really just un unbelievable. I'm going to take a wild guess and say that family is not vaccinated. <laughs> wild guess. If your parents run with you into the hurricane, I would love to know what the rest of their parenting looks like. Listen to me, Scott. If your friend tells you to jump off a cliff, you better invite me, buddy, yeah. <laughs> I'm your dad's second, bro, bro first, yeah. No, but, but it, wasn't, it wasn't just really stupid people who stayed behind to see the storm up close. There were also incredibly smart people. What do you think about the storm, the power, the ferocity, and the risk to your own safety at this point? Well, at this point, I'm very relieved to discover that as we speak, the eye of the storm is practically due south of us by 220 miles, yeah. okay, because it's crossing the 80th meridian, which is uh, 80 degrees west longitude. It was 275 degrees. That's only 1 15th above due west toward true north. All right. All right. Either that guy is super smart or he is really high on bath salts. <laughs> One of the two. Like, who is he? Where is he from? Because he knows way too much about Florida to be from Florida. I don't know who that person is. And also, he knows a weird amount about the hurricane. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if Hurricane Irma changed direction just to avoid him. <laughs> like, if the storm was like, ooh, ooh, oh, man, oh, it's that creepy hurricane guy. Oh, <laughs> oh, don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. Oh, yeah, I blew him, like, once. He's been obsessed ever since. Oh, don't see me, don't see me. Oh. Uh, now, now, with any wall-to-wall -wall coverage of a disaster, there's bound to be a few awkward moments or slip-ups, but it's not usual that they come from the studio. We're seeing the tops of trash... trash cans flying around, uh, and this wind... I am not a small woman, as you know, Don. I'm a chunky girl, and it is blowing me around when the gusts come really, really hard. So this is nothing to play around with. Everyone has been told that over and over and over again, that you really have to respect this wind. Thank you, Sarah Seidner. You're a beautiful woman, no matter what size you are, and there's nothing wrong with having a little curve. Wow. Wow. OK, that was a bit weird. Because, uh, Don Lemon, that reporter said nothing about being beautiful. <laughs> like, she was just like, I'm a chunky girl, and this wind... I wish the camera would have cut back to Sarah to respond, like, yeah, Don, I never said I wasn't beautiful. <laughs> and then Don Lemon would have to overcompensate. He'd be like, yeah, I was just saying, like, even because you're curvy doesn't mean you're not... Yeah, but I never said anything about beauty. <laughs> no, no, but I'm saying, like, you are beautiful. Yeah, but why would you think I wasn't? No, you know. You know, because, you know, like, you know. It's like categories, like, of hurricanes. Like, there's, like... You, all right, I'm just gonna quit now. Let's, uh, let's move on. 